A fairly common symptom that someone might experience after cataract surgery is dryness, eye dryness. In fact, I posted a poll, a survey, on this channel asking the viewers of this channel if they have experienced this, and the results shocked me, with half the people saying they have experienced it and still experience dry eyes after having cataract surgery. These results were so surprising, I wanted to bring in help to make this video more meaningful and helpful. I'm bringing in Dr. Michelle Lee. She has her own YouTube channel with a lot of excellent videos specifically about cataracts and cataract surgery. She's going to go over what about the cataract surgery might cause dry eye symptoms, and then stay for the end of the video because we're going to come together and go over specific questions that we get all of the time about dry eyes and cataract surgery, plus we'll go over some tips that might help those people that suffer from these symptoms. So Dr. Lee, let's focus in. Thanks, Dr. Eye Guy. Let me start out by saying that cataract surgery should be an overall positive experience and really an amazing way to recover some eyesight that you've lost from cataracts. However, there are a sequence of events that happen before, during, and after your cataract surgery that may impact your ocular surface and induce dry eye symptoms. This all starts when you arrive for your cataract surgery. You will almost immediately be given a ton of eye drops, a combination of antibiotic, anti-inflammatory, and dilating eye drops, all very important for a safe surgery. These eye drops all have preservatives, which are added chemicals, which can actually induce ocular surface inflammation and toxicity. Then during cataract surgery, your cataract surgeon will be making small wounds or small incisions into your cornea to access your cataract. This process of creating wounds will actually cut some of your corneal nerves. These nerves are important for providing your tearing reflex. This is why when you have a cut or a, an abrasion on your eye, you make a lot of tears as a reflex to help you heal. Similarly, when you have dry spots on your eye, a normal reflex is to produce tears to help lubricate your eyes. You do lose some of that tearing reflex. Then after cataract surgery, your eye will mount an inflammatory response at almost every layer of your eye, including your ocular surface. This inflammation will result in even more dry eye. Your eye doctors will most likely put you on a steroid or anti-inflammatory eye drop to help with inflammation. And this will help temporarily. But I find that most patients report that their symptoms get a lot worse a few days to about a week after stopping these eye drops. So unfortunately, dry eye and cataract surgery do go hand in hand. And that is something that I see in my practice as well. Now, I actually do a lot of co-managing with patients that have had cataract surgery, and I definitely experience those symptoms of dry eye, fluctuating vision, foreign body sensation, that inflammation in that one week and one month period during the healing time and healing process. But I still have patients even more long-term, six months, a year, maybe further out, that experience some of these symptoms, but it's more the dry eye issues that are causing a lot of the symptoms. And that can be a battle and a frustration to try and improve those symptoms by treating the dry eye. And dry eye really can cause blurry vision more than you'd think. In fact, I did a whole dedicated video about how dry eyes causes blurry vision. And I'll put that link in the description so you can check that out after this video. Now we're gonna come together and go over specific questions that we get all of the time and go over tips that might help. So we're gonna jump right into probably the most common question that I get from patients as well as on my YouTube videos. And that question definitely is, did cataract surgery cause my dry eye or did I have dry eye before I had the surgery? Definitely the most common question I get. So that's a really great question. The first thing we need to understand is that dry eye symptoms can really be on a spectrum from asymptomatic to very symptomatic. So before and after cataract surgery, your symptoms may just be, you may be experiencing your symptoms very differently. In my experience, there are a few patients who do not really have many signs or symptoms of dry eye, and this certainly changes after cataract surgery because of the things that happen before, during, and after surgery that we had discussed earlier. But for the most part, a lot of people do have some degree of pre-existing dry eye, and a lot of that has to do with the overlap, especially the overlap in the demographics of people who develop worse dry eye. 
as well as develop cataracts. There's a lot of overlap in the age range of that. And that certainly comes into play here. Yeah, for sure. And I actually like that you said the word overlap because there really is definitely an overlap in a lot of the symptoms that are caused from dry eye and cataracts as well. In fact, a lot of times we'll have people that will come in for their uh, annual eye exams and they'll have cataracts or they'll, they'll have symptoms of maybe blurry vision, glare, fluctuating blurry vision. And a lot of that can be caused by cataracts and dry eyes. It will send them in for a cataract evaluation. They get cataract surgery, they come back and they still might have some of those symptoms like fluctuating blurry vision that was more from their dry eye issues. And so sometimes it can be tricky to properly diagnose which symptom is coming from which condition. And so it can be pretty tricky for uh, the eye doctors to know which symptom goes where. I agree. I do think cataract surgery can both induce dry eye as well as worsen pre-existing dry eye. For sure. Okay, for the next question, also a big one, why is it important to treat dry eye before cataract surgery? Definitely a big question for sure. This is really important. One of the steps of cataract surgery is actually removing the cataract and replacing that cataract or that natural lens inside your eye with a clear plastic lens that we measure beforehand. And one of the measurements that actually impacts your lens calculations are your corneal measurements. And your corneal measurements are actually impacted by your surface. So if you have a lot of dryness and dry spots on your cornea, your corneal measurements will be inaccurate and you may actually get the wrong lens inside your eye because of that. For that reason, it's very important to make sure that you adequately address your dry eye, your signs and your symptoms so that this does not become an issue after your cataract surgery. Yeah, and I would definitely say in my experience with patients pre and post-op cataract surgery, definitely those patients that were able to control their dry eye symptoms or control their dry eye definitely had better outcomes after the cataract surgery, even in the short term and long term, not only just from the overall uh, outcome of the cataract surgery, but overall symptoms and comfort and visual outcome of, of the eyes. It's just better to treat the dry eye before the surgery. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so the next question that we have is, how do we treat dry eyes before cataract surgery? Definitely important, and this is something where as an eye doctor, my thought process has definitely evolved. So maybe earlier on, I would think more about, hey, do some artificial tears, you'll be good for surgery. But now that my thought process has evolved and I look at it a little bit more carefully, uh, definitely there is not a one size fits all for each patient. That It almost takes an individual look at each patient to find out exactly what might be causing their dry eye issues and then tailor a treatment specifically for them. So it's definitely difficult to say, hey, how do we treat dry eyes before cataract surgery? Because it might be different in every person. And so a lot of times uh, in our clinic, we'll actually do specific dry eye evaluations to actually determine what's causing their dry eye. If it's their meibomian glands or inflammation, and then we can tailor treatments depending on what we find. I absolutely agree with that. It's really important to know that dry eye really has a scale of severity as well as many different causes and types of dry eye, all with very different treatment options. So it's really important that you talk to your eye care provider about your dry eye and specific treatments that are tailored to you and to your eyes. Just in general, some things that I recommend to most of my patients who come in with dry eyes who are about to have cataract surgery is to use a high quality preservative free artificial tear that they can buy over the counter and use that as often as they can, sometimes every couple hours leading up to their lens calculation so that we can get the best measurements possible for their surgery. I also tend to do a pretty thorough dry eye evaluation. So for patients with more moderate to severe dry eyes, I might recommend a variety of different treatments depending on the cause of their dry eye. This may include things like punctal plugs, which are little plugs that we actually put in the corner of the eyelids to help um, prevent tears from draining out of the eyes into the nose. We also might consider things like anti-inflammatory eye drops for patients with inflammatory dry eye. 
And one treatment that is very beneficial for patients with ocular rosacea is a treatment called intense pulse light treatment or IPL. This is a red spectrum of light that actually can target the vessels around the eyelid to help reduce inflammation in the eyelid and therefore treat dry eye symptoms in the eye. Okay, so on to the next question. The next question is, how do we treat dry eye after the cataract surgery? And kind of like what we said before, you definitely want to check in with your eye doctor on this one. Each person is specific on what type of dry eyes they have and what condition they have. And so each person will need to see their, their eye doctor for their proper treatment for them. But I will say probably one of the more common dry eye symptoms that I see right after people have cataract surgery, because I do a lot of post-operative care after cataract surgery, is right after they go off of their anti-inflammatory eye drops, sometimes their inflammation might rebound back and that will cause some of the driest symptoms that will flare up. And so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put people back on maybe a low dose anti-inflammatory eye drop for a little bit longer and then maybe taper them off just to kind of help with that inflammation, that inflammatory dry eye that kind of creeps up after stopping all the drops after cataract surgery. I definitely see that as well in my practice. Uh, another common and I think underdiagnosed cause of dry eye after cataract surgery is actually the fact that during the surgery, we're actually making wounds in your cornea and severing your corneal nerves. And that just that process of decreasing your corneal nerve volume in your eye is actually going to cause decreased sensation. That decreased sensation actually affects your blink reflex, your tearing reflex, and your ability to recruit growth factors to help heal your cornea from things like surgery and dry eye. So one thing that can happen over time is that these nerves can regenerate and you can kind of get back to normal. But I, I think a very underdiagnosed cause of the dry eye that kind of persists for months after surgery is the fact that you do lose some of that sensation, some of that tearing reflex, that blink reflex. That can be treated once we diagnose it. There's actually many things we can do. One thing that is very helpful is if this happens to you after the cataract surgery, one thing we can always put in it are the punctal plugs. Uh, it's always okay to use a lot of preservative-free tears just to kind of lubricate the eye to help um, kind of manage the surface as well as to kind of compensate for the lack of sensation on the cornea. And we can all, there are other prescription treatments and advanced technologies that we have to address the lack of nerve sensation and um, a cornea that isn't doing what it's supposed to do. It's just a matter of going to your provider to address the issue and to get on top of it. Okay, so for the next two questions, I'm hoping it's okay. I kind of pulled these from common questions that I get from people on my YouTube videos. And so uh, so I just have a couple questions, if it's okay that we can go over that. Of course. Uh, okay, so the first question is, will dry eyes make my eyes take longer to heal after cataract surgery? Great question. It really depends what you mean by healing. Because if you mean how long is it going to take for your vision to recover completely after the cataract surgery, then certainly dry eye will affect that because the, one of the symptoms of dry eye is blurry vision. If you're asking whether dry eye will affect the healing process after cataract surgery, which includes the lens inside the eye and that kind of scar scarring kind of being settled in the eye or the inflammation inside the eye, that should have no bearing. Okay, for our final question, how long do dry eye symptoms last after having cataract surgery? Now, this is also something that can definitely vary from patient to patient on the severity of dry eye and their symptoms for sure. And so can definitely depend on the person on this one. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. I actually tell all my patients, irrespective of whether they have dry eye or not, that Dry eye is a common side effect of the surgery. It typically peaks around three to six weeks after their surgery and can persist up to three to six months after surgery before petering out. There are a few patients, um, maybe some of you amongst here on YouTube, um, that will end up having more permanent dry eye uh, symptoms. And it's hard for us to know whether those symptoms were just accelerated by the cataract surgery or whether cataract surgery was really the impetus to make the dry eye worse. 
And for that, for those patients, um, it's really hard to know sometimes what the next steps are or whether you should have had the cataract surgery or not. Let me do say, though, that cataract surgery is supposed to be a very positive experience. And if you do have significant cataracts and your provider is recommending cataract surgery, dry eyes should not be or your fear of dry eye symptoms after surgery should not be the reason to not do the surgery. As long as we get on top of the surgery, treat the symptoms before surgery to kind of minimize any of the side effects afterwards, uh, cataract surgery can and, and should be a very positive experience overall. So I completely agree with you on this one is, um, you know, it, it sometimes makes me sad when I hear some um, patients or people that say that I, they regret having their cataract surgery because of their dry eye symptoms. And so um, as a doctor, it just kind of makes me double down to be more uh, uh, diligent on looking for treating dry eye symptoms, like making sure that people are on top of it so that their outcomes are that much better. And even afterwards that they can have hope that if they can control their dry eyes, that it was definitely worthwhile having the cataract surgery for sure. For sure. I don't think the fear of dry eyes should prevent you from getting surgery if you have a visually significant cataract, because the downside of not doing the cataract surgery and going gradually blind is actually far outweighed um, by the potential benefit. So definitely pursue cataract surgery if that is recommended. Just make sure you're getting on top of your dry eye symptoms before surgery. And don't ignore your symptoms after surgery. If it's bothering you, go address this with your provider. Um, if you don't do anything about it, that's really the worst thing you can do. Yeah, mm, completely agree. Huge thanks to Dr. Lee for joining me on this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below, but I definitely recommend checking out her videos. Very well done, packed full of information. Stay focused.